Census Bureau for the last two years has said that we're the fastest growing micropolitan city in the country. Uh, we've grown somewhat over 18% in those two years. Uh, and uh, you know, 18% growth for a business is wonderful. 18% growth for a city is a real challenge. It's just, it's just really faster than you can keep control of. This was um, actually a farmed field, and in 2011, when the developer closed on it, they started their infrastructure and sold the first developable lots in October of 2011. The agricultural land was probably worth anywhere from 7,500 to maybe 10, 12,000 an acre, and now today, if you can find uh, commercial land like this, you're going to be easily in the 40 to 50,000, somewhere 100,000 an acre. This one here we're working on is a 2012 F-150. Um, the customer wanted to upgrade the sound system a little bit. We are working on putting aftermarket headrest DVD players in so he can play his movies while he goes. Um, we're also putting an aftermarket subwoofer in it. When the guys do have a day off or they do have some time to waste, they come into the store and they would like to purchase amps, speakers, subs, and then they ask, well, when can you install it? And we say, well, we're scheduled a month. Right now, I think we're scheduled about three weeks to a month out. It, sometimes it changes their buying habits, and sometimes it doesn't. Some people are more than willing to wait, and some people want it now, and they'll probably go shop someplace else. I'm from Danville, Indiana. Um, I'm a biology graduate from Franklin College in Indiana. And I came up here uh, to pay some student loan debts off. I've been up here for 14 months enjoying life and trying to get my loans paid back. The wells that we're uh, drilling are uh, two miles deep and then we drill a curve out to 90 degrees and we drill horizontal for two, two miles. In the lateral section of the hole, the horizontal portion of the hole is where we frack. The well takes approximately 25 days to drill. After the well's been drilled, the drilling rig will move off location and we move in the completion equipment. The completion equipment consists of the fracturing fleet that we have behind me. That includes the pumps, the sand cans, and also the water uh, containers in order to deliver the water to the frac pumps, then in order to where we can deliver that downhole to fracture stimulate the well. This uh, fracture stimulation period lasts approximately five days. After the fracture stimulation equipment is moved off location and the well is put on production, it'll be producing for roughly 20 to 30 years. What I'm holding here is a spent perforating gun. This had just recently come out of the hole. After being pumped down to the bottom and at a selected depth, we've ignited the, uh, sent an ignition source through an electrical source through the uh, wireline cable down to this piece of the tool. And as soon as this reached the depth that we wanted to, we can set off those charges. And the charges here that you can see where the perforations have already come out, penetrates the production casing into where we can produce the oil from the formation. We do not own the mineral acres underneath this land. We're the landowners. We own the surface acres. And, and in, in North Dakota, you cannot deny the people who own the, the mineral acres their right to obtain the oil or whatever that's under the ground. So thus, as a landowner, you cannot resist them putting these oil well sites on your land. If, if you resist them when they want to put an oil well on your land, they can declare eminent domain and they can actually take it from you. Since the oil boom has started, um, traffic has greatly increased. The number of calls, um, how busy our officers are, um, our detective unit has grown. Thefts and vandalism that have really skyrocketed. And the jails have greatly increased. Um, so everyone right now is behind and working to get ahead. So oh, 10 years ago, you could leave your house unlocked. Um, you could leave your car unlocked, you know. And you could let your kids play outside without having somebody there with them. Even in your garage, you have to keep your vehicles locked. And the kids don't play outside unless there's an adult with them.
We are dealing with a lot of assaults, a lot of domestic assaults, um, a lot of theft, a lot of vandalism, um, burglaries, um, a lot of drug cases. Pretty much anything and everything has greatly increased. When I grew up in this town, we'd run, you know, run around the streets at midnight in the summer and the winter time, and our parents didn't think twice about it. And now, with the increase in traffic and the number of people coming into town, it's, it's a little spooky at times. So, yeah, a little scary. Well, the van is uh, called Justin Him Ministries, and we, we travel around the city and uh, try to encourage and help people that are, are coming into town looking for work. Um, many of them are, are uh, without work and uh, <laughs> sleep under the trees or wherever they can find a place to sleep. Just to arrive here and expect big money is, is it's changing uh, rapidly when it comes to that, I believe. You just don't show up here and, uh, and, and make big money unless you ha are well qualified at something or have experience. Their pastor is doing a very good job. You know, I think he saved some souls. A lot of people didn't have no hope. When they came here, they were stranded. I was stranded, but when I came to him, he helped me out. You know, so he is seven souls. I don't know why. You know, people are so mean. You know, this is America. We are living in a big country. And no, we are people supposed to be nice to each other. But instead of bringing us home, they want to drive us away.